Hi guys, it's Maxwell Alexander here and you are watching Makeup by Maxwell. Uh, thank you so much for being here, I really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Today's video is going to be a full face using all the products that I did in my haul video. Uh, if it uploaded, please, dear God, I have to go and check on that in a minute. But if you guys would like to see how I did this fabulous, fabulous makeup look, then keep on watching. Thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. And today, today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial using all the makeup that I used in my haul. So we're going to jump right into it right away here. Uh, so without further ado, we might as well get started. So the first thing that I'm gonna do today is I'm going to do some color correcting. Um, because if you can tell my nose is so red and burnt from camping I was a bit of an idiot and I didn't put on sunscreen like I probably should have so that is my bad we're going to get into this L'Oreal color correcting palette so before I even do this actually what I should be doing is I should probably prime my face. So we're going in with the Smashbox Primer. Uh, this is the Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I absolutely love this stuff. I've been using it for years. Uh, Smashbox is the number one primer authority here in Canada. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I am from Canada, uh, Alberta, Canada, actually. I always put it on just the back of my hand here, just like so. And I like to use my fingers for this. All right, so the color correcting did not work for my nose at all because it is just so burnt that it's just picking up on all of my dry spots. So this little guy is going to have to wait for another day, unfortunately, because it is just not working for me at all today. So we're going to go back in with my primer, we're going to prime my nose again, and we're just going to put it right over top of my nose here, get it all nice and primed for that foundation so that hopefully it does not pick up on the dryness. The rest of my face is still primed but we're going to just make sure. Okay, so now that our face is primed, like I said before, uh, we are going in with our foundation. The foundation I'm using today is the Studio Skin 15 Hour Hydrating Foundation. This stuff is absolutely amazing, amazing foundation. I absolutely love it. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this foundation is actually tested in Smashbox Studios in their lighting box. So anytime you put this on, it doesn't matter what type of lighting that you put it on in, it's going to be the exact same color as it is in the bottle no matter what. So it's not going to make you look gray, it won't make you look orange, it won't make you look yellow or anything like that. It is true to color, which is absolutely amazing. So what I like to do personally is I like to put a few pumps on the hand. Just like so. And then I just go in with, ooh, almost lost that there. I like to go in with the back of the Beauty Blender. And we're just gonna dot it around our face. Like so. And you can use more or less product if you so choose. Me, I like to use a lot of foundation because I like to have more of that full coverage effect, which is what I like, personally. I really want to get this nose today because it is red as hell. And we are just going to buff and blend. So now that our foundation is on, 
Um, and I need a cloth. There it is. I always like to have a rag with me. Not a rag, but, um, you know, a makeup towel. Clean off those hands, you know. Now that our foundation is on, we are going to go in with the next product, which is, of course, concealer. And today I am using the Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer by Smashbox. This stuff is absolutely amazing. And I am in the shade Fair Light. I've used this before and it is absolutely amazing. And I really, really wanted this really nice bright highlight underneath my eyes. So that is what we are going to do today. You're gonna to start from the inner corner. Ooh, mama, that's light. Ooh, damn. And we're just gonna highlight all the places that I want highlighting. We're gonna do a little bit down the nose. We're gonna go on this Cupid's bow. And we're gonna do a little heart. Because I love you all so much. Mwah. We're gonna get this chin. Cause I'm going for high end look today. There we go. Now just taking that same damp beauty blender. And we're gonna just buff that into this foundation. To set this, we are going to go in with the Smashbox Contour and Highlight Kit, um, or Contour Palette is what it says. There is a contour, a bronzer, and a highlight powder in this. So to do underneath the eyes and everywhere that we did the concealer to set it, we're just going to go in with this color and I'm going to take the same damp beauty blender and we're just gonna press right into this powder. Like so, and get it coated. And go right under the eye. Set that. Gorgeous, darling, gorgeous. So now that we're finished with that, we are going to set the rest of the face. And I am going in with my Quo uh, powder brush here. And we're gonna go in with my Marcel face powder. This is my tried and true face powder. I absolutely love this stuff. It's a completely translucent powder. Um, it's got a little bit of pigment, but not too much. And we're just going to dump some of this into the lid here. Just like so. Put that down. And we're just going to run this over the rest of the face. So now with the rest of the powder, I like to put it, whoops. <laughs> with the rest of the powder, I like to just put it back in to my thing here. Now, if you're working on a client, don't ever do that. You want to throw the rest of the powder away because you've put your brush in to the powder, put it on their face, so that powder is now contaminated. With my powder, I do it with my own powder, that's fine, but if you're working on a client, don't ever, ever do that. Just a tip. Now that we have our base face down. Now we're going to go in and we are going to contour and bronze these cheeks. I'm not going to do any highlighting until the very end. I find that's kind of like the icing on the cake. You got to build up the cake first, but we don't want to look cakey. We are going back in with the Smashbox Contour Palette, which is 
right here. And we are going to contour with this shade right here. Now this one, this contour uh, kit actually comes with the Smashbox contour brush. So we're actually gonna use this brush um, to contour with because it just seems proper. So of course we are going to go down this cheekbone here and really, really carve out our face. Now I always like to do a sucky face, like that. Woo! Ooh, bitch. Are you seeing this? Ooh. Ooh, yes. Ooh, give it to me, girl. A carve, though. That carve. Ooh. Yes. You don't want any too harsh of lines. You want to leave a little bit of a line here, though, because when we do the bronzer over top of this, it'll all blend seamlessly together, so you don't really have to worry about that. Now that we're even on both sides. I am a blending fanatic, by the way, so, like, I blend more than most people should, but then, again, I was always told there is no such thing as too much blending. And blend and blend and blend and blend and blend. I love that contour. And then, now, I don't really contour the nose, but for today's video, I will contour my nose. So we're just gonna go in with this little, um, actually, no, I don't wanna use that brush. Let's do this synthetic brush here. And we're just gonna di dip in a little bit into this and we're just gonna go straight down this nose here. And a little bit on the tip. Just the tip, bitch. Just the tip. Oh, yes. Okay, so now that we've got those two lines down our nose and we're looking absolutely ridiculous we need to blend that out so we're gonna go in with a fluffy brush right here and we're just gonna blend that right out now I picked up this new bronzer here um, by Physicians Formula um, and I'm really not so sure about it. It's called the Magic Mosaic in R1 Multicolored Custom Face Bronzer in Warm Beige Light Bronzer. So we're gonna try this out. Now, I dislike the packaging of this so much. I mean, I like the top. It's got the window so you can see the mosaic. It looks really pretty. Um, and then you push it back. And it's got the mirror on it, and then it's got such a huge hole here, like just a holder for this little tiny brush. Now, I never use these brushes, so we're gonna get rid of that. But like, I mean, it's got holes in the bottom of it, so after you would put that brush back in here, all that product is just gonna fall right through, and it's gonna mess up your makeup bag. So I don't think they did a very good job with that. Um, but we're gonna go in with my favorite contour brush, which is around here somewhere. Uh, this is by Quo as well. I bought this. It's supposed to be meant uh, as a blush brush, but what I like to do is I'm going to go in, we're gonna swirl this all around to get a custom bronzer color. So it's coated and then what I like to do is I like to just pinch it a little bit like this and just go right over top and 
Where is the color? Like, are you kidding me? I know I got warm beige, but damn. Okay. Okay, I'm kind of seeing it now. We're just gonna have to go over a few times. This is really, really, really light on me. So I don't know if I'm going to use this again or not, but this is really, really light. I'm not too sure that I'm enjoying this so much. I normally like a darker bronzer, but it'll have to do for today. And you know what, we're gonna go in with this bronzer color here, actually, to do the uh, hairline and stuff like that, because this is, this is not gonna work for me, like at all. So we're gonna go in with the bronzer color in the contour palette to do my hairline. And again, what I like to do is I pick up the product and then I just pinch it like this and go in. See, there we go. Now that's a fucking bronzer. Hi! Hi, bronzer. How's it going? Oh my god. I love you. Thank you for coming through, Smashbox. Physician's formula. You suck. No offense or anything, but that bronzer is... Ugh. And then we're just going to go in with that big fluffy brush that we used for my face powder. And we're just going to run over this just to blend that color a little bit more. So that we're not using any extra product. There we go. Now we are all nicely bronzed and looking flawless. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Next, we are going to move on to brows. Um, this is the Brow Stylist Frame and Set Cream Pomade. And this is what I'm going to use to outline my brows with. And then we're just gonna run it through. I also have a pencil that I also like to use as well. So this one actually comes with its own brush. So it's got the flat head side here. It's got a flat head side there. And it's got the spoolie on this side. So it's perfect, perfectly shaped. And this is in the color Warm Brunette, uh, number 214. So we will try this out here. I've used this before. It's very creamy. I actually really, really enjoy this product. And we're just going to shape out. I always start with the top of my brow. I always start with the corner. Bring down that tail to, you always want it aligned with the corner of your eye, like this. So we're just gonna pull it down to that point. And then you can also fill it in if you want it a little bit darker. I normally like the tail end to be a bit darker. And there you have it. Now I'm gonna go and do this other brow off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so now that these brows are on fleek girl, yes, had a bit of an argument with them. Took me a little bit longer than I would have liked to, but they are finished and they are on fleek as far as I am concerned. Y'all can hate all you want, but I like my brow, so that's the way it is. So next, we are going to get into some eye 
shadow. Yes, girl. So, of course, to prime your eyes, you are going to need a eyeshadow primer. And what better eyeshadow primer to use than the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish eyeshadow primer. This stuff is amazing. It makes your eyelashes last all day and literally that is all you need. Just that little amount of product right there, that's it. You don't need anything more than that. It is absolutely amazing. And I normally just like to melt it down on my hand a little bit. And then we just pop this right onto my eyelid. And it works great for carving out that brow. You see that? Fabulous, honey. Fabulous. And then uh, we're just running that all over the eye. So now that we have our eye shadow down, we are going to go in with one of my all-time favorite Smashbox palettes. We're gonna go in with the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but it is absolutely amazing. So in this palette, you can see that it has been fairly, fairly used, but all of these colors on the top are all shimmers, and all of these down on the bottom are all matte colors. These are absolutely amazing. It has this beautiful, beautiful big mirror on it as well, which I obviously need to clean because it is so filthy. But we are going to start off doing our base color, and I'm just going to use a synthetic brush. This is from my brush set that I got on one of those Wish sites or whatever, but I really like this using this brush to do the base of my eye. And we're actually gonna go in with this shade here. It is called Matte 4. These don't actually have any sort of shade names on them, so it's just M4 or S4 or whatever the case may be. So we're just gonna dip into here into this color here and that is going all over the base or as a base sorry now we are going to go in with my tried and true crease brush this is a small little pencil brush that believe it or not I actually got from uh, elf it's their professional blending eye brush I love using this for my crease. For today, we're just going to keep it real simple. So we're just gonna coat this brush here and we're just gonna go right into that crease. And I'm gonna use this mirror here so that I can actually see what the heck I am doing. It, these blend absolutely flawlessly. I absolutely love it. All right, so now that that color is in there, we're gonna go in with, we're gonna go in with this color here, right here, just to blend out that line so that it's not so harsh. there we go so now we are going to go in with another one of my favorite Smashbox palettes and we're gonna take a eyeshadow brush and this is just another fluffy brush this one I don't remember where I got it I think I got it from shoppers 
maybe it's from Essence. It's like a bamboo kind of thing. It's got all natural fibers in it. I absolutely love this for doing my shadow. Um, so we're gonna use the fluffy side um, to, or sorry, we're gonna use this more dense side to place the color. And then we're going to use the other side to actually blend it into that crease. And this is the Smashbox Cover Shots Palette in Golden Hour. Um, unfortunately, I got it wet, so all the colors on the back have come off, but I'll try my best. Um, we're gonna go in with kind of this peachy moment, which I think is called um, Turned On. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm wrong, please, please, please correct me. Uh, just leave it in the comment description below um, if I did get the color wrong. But we're going to go in with this uh, more dense, smaller side uh, to place this color. And I absolutely love the color of this. It's such a beautiful peachy pink moment. It just works so beautifully for me. Again, this one has the mirror on it as well, which is the mirror that I am going to use as soon as I clean it off here. And then, of course, we're just going to go in with the other side and blend that out. This is what I love about this brush is that it makes it so easy for you to go in with the color. And then you just flip the brush around to blend it together. Always blend. There is no such thing as too much blending. Ever. There is never ever too much blending. You can't blend enough actually. At least that's what I was told doing drag is blending is everything. Now I could stop here and just leave it as is but I want something a little bit more intense so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my finishing spray, my setting spray, and we're just going to, ooh, there we go. Such a fine mist this is too. This is the NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. I absolutely love this setting spray. It is one of my all time favorites. And we're just going to spray this a couple times. And we're gonna go back in with that color and put that over top of what we've already done. And it gives it this beautiful, beautiful metallic shine, which is incredible. Ta da! Living! And of course, we're gonna blend. I absolutely love this palette so much. Uh, you can get these at Shoppers Drug Mart, by the way, and you'll never believe the price. They are only $36, and the quality of these shadows is to die for. Like, I'll swatch one of them here for you right now, okay? You see that? That color? Oh, and then we're just going to do a swatchy swatch. Like, are you kidding me? And the blendability of that, like, it just, ugh, it blends out so pretty. I absolutely, absolutely love these shadows. Just so gorgeous, absolutely stunning. So now we're going to highlight this brow of mine underneath the brow and we're actually going to go in with the same palette and we're going in with this color here. I think this is called Lights, if I am not mistaken, and we're just going to take a little small pencil blending brush here. So you can see, oh shoot, small little pencil blending brush and we're just going to go in with this color. And we're actually going to spray that as well because we want our brows to look nice and highlighted. Just a quick little spritz. And that is going to go right under our brow. 
So for eyeliner today, we are going in with my tried and true. I don't think I've ever found a better liner than this. This is the Smashbox Always On Gel Liner. Now, if you watched my haul video previously, if it uploaded, praying to God, it's sitting downstairs on the computer right now, trying to upload. Here's hoping, but if you saw my haul video yesterday, then you know that this is absolutely amazing liner. So this is just gonna go into the bottom waterline. I don't normally do a top liner because I don't really wear false lashes all that much. I'm not wearing false lashes in this video, for example. Um, and I like my mascara to really stick out. So we're not going to do any sort of top liner today. Uh, we're just going to be doing the waterline. So now that the liner is done, we are going to go in, and this is gonna be a first impressions for me, actually, because I've never actually used this product before. I've never used the Voluminous Lash Paradise uh, Waterproof Mascara by L'Oreal. This just came out, I guess, and I haven't gotten the chance to use it. So we're gonna try it out right now. Now, oof. Now this does have a very chemically chemical smell to it, which I don't like. And normally mascaras like this make my eyes water. Um, but you should check out this brush as well. This brush is insane. I've never really seen a brush quite like this before. Well, I have, but I've never actually used them. So this will be a first for me. So let's go in. All right, so, so far this is about one coat of this mascara. I think I'm gonna have to go back in again. Um, as you can tell, I hit the side of my eye right here, but we will clean that up here in a minute. Unfortunately, you know, shit happens and we all make mistakes, but we're gonna go in one more time with this mascara and do one more layer and see if I can get these any more fluffy because right now it's not really doing it for me to be perfectly honest so uh, we'll go in one last time and we will see how it goes okay so after two coats of this mascara I think I finally got it to where I want it it looks really, really nice, actually. And it kind of gives you that false lash look. So, you know, like, I mean, it, take, it takes two layers, but if you're patient with it and you build it up, it's actually a really, really, really nice mascara. Is it Makeup by Maxwell approved? I'm on the fence. I'm gonna have to use it a couple more times before I can say whether or not it is Makeup by Maxwell approved. Um, but, uh, it's, it's definitely something, and it definitely, definitely does its job. I mean, I'm, I'm not hating it, uh, but I'm also not loving it either. I haven't put anything on the bottom lashes yet, so, um, you know, uh, I will definitely try it some other time on the bottom lashes for right now. I'm really loving it for the top lashes. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. So we are going to move on, yay. So next on my list is blush and highlight. So this is going to be super, super exciting for me because I have been wanting to talk about this blush palette for so long. I went to Sephora and I found this blush palette comes with six different blushes, two mattes, and three shimmers. This, you guys, is amazing. And this is what it looks like right here. So on the back, it says, turn up the heat with this spicy collection of six warm blush shades. Universally flattering colors in both matte and shimmer finishes suit every skin tone from light to deep soft pigmented formula blends seamlessly into skin for suitable or fiery flush. 
Now, I'm not too sure what that last sentence means, but okay. I'm guessing like flush of color. So three of my all-time favorite shades that I have been using this summer are this one here, this kind of rosy, pinky color here, and this gorgeous kind of peachy, golden moment down here. These three shades I have been using nonstop. And during the winter, I will probably be diving more into these three over here. But I absolutely love this palette. This palette is so incredible. And of course, while I was at Sephora, I had to pick up a proper blush brush. So apparently I thought it was a blush brush. Turns out it's a contouring brush but I love using this brush. This is the Pro Contour um, Contouring Precision 79 uh, from Sephora. This brush is absolutely incredible. So today for this look, because we are going with kind of this peachy kind of moment, I think we are going to dive into this more lighter shade here because we are going ham with the highlight today. I have an absolutely beautiful highlight that I cannot wait to use. Um, so we're going to go in with this one here and we're just going to coat this entire brush and go right in. So pretty, right? Like, are you kidding me? Oh my God. Like, it's just so, such a pretty shade, this one. I haven't used it a lot, but now that I'm getting more into this palette, like, I kind of like the subtlety of it. Like, it just gives you that nice, subtle color. And you don't even need, like, a lot of it. Like, it's just so pigmented and so pretty. Like, we're done. Like, blush is complete. So, there we go. All finished there. Now, we are going to go in with highlight. This is the Stila Heavenly Hue Highlighter in the shade Kitten. This highlighter, though, like, I die. I absolutely die. Um, and we're gonna go in with my Smashbox highlighting brush right here. I love using a fan brush for highlighting. Um, I don't really understand why people use, um, other brushes. Like, I've seen people use a brush like this. I've seen people use a brush like this to do their highlighting with, and I'm like, it's good for placing the pigment, but it's not really good for blending it out. And then you're having to use another brush anyway. So instead of dirtying up another brush, I just rather use this beautiful fan brush. So we're just gonna go in. Now, um, I'm pretty sure it says that you can use your finger, you can use a brush. When I saw Jeffree Star use it, he actually went in with his finger. And if you want, actually, you know what? I'm gonna swatch this for you guys. Do a little swatchy swatch. Like, are you kidding? Oh my God, it is just so pretty. Like, do you die? Because I totally die. So we're just gonna go over with my little fan brush here. I'm gonna pick up some product here and we are gonna go in. Ooh. It's a little bit more subtle when you use a brush. Yes, queen, yes, work. You seeing that? Mm. Yes, queen. You know what? We're gonna use this to highlight my nose. Because I am a highlighting whore. Oh, 
yes. Mm-hmm. You know what? We're gonna get this Cupid's bow. Because how can you not? What do you guys think? Yes? Yes? I think so. Yes. We are finally at the lips. Because you know me. Can't go nowhere without lips. So I was watching Jeffree Star, obviously, on, where else? YouTube. Um, watching Jeffree Star the other day, and he came at us with the new Maybelline. I got them in four shades. Let's see if I can hold them up here. Uh, the new Maybelline Color Stay Matte Ink uh, Liquid Lips. These are absolutely amazing. I had to get four different shades because you know me, I can't just buy one. I gotta buy, you know, at least three or four or five or six or 10 or 40 or 50. You know, you can never have too many lips. I mean, let's be real. So I got four different shades here. Um, and I'm still trying to decide which one I want to use today. I think we're going to go with this one here. This one is just a really pretty mauve kind of pinkish. It's got a bit of a pink hue to it. And it is called Lover. It's right on the bottom. And I it's heavy. Like, these are... It has some weight to it, which is what I like. Um, I definitely like um, packaging that's a little bit heavier. It just feels more expensive. Even though it's drugstore, it feels like something that you would get from like Marc Jacobs or something like that. So we are gonna go in with this color. I think I tried this on yesterday. If you guys watch my Snapchat, which is also in the description below, make sure you go and check out my Snapchat. I am on there 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I just can't help myself. But right now I'm gonna shut up about that and we're gonna get to this lip. Mmm. Oh, I love this. And we are done. So there is the lip called Lover. And let me tell you guys something about this. This formula is so creamy on my lips. Like, oh my God. And the smell, like I had no idea that Maybelline put smells in any of their lipsticks, but this one, Oh, it just smells like, I don't even, I can't even describe it. It's just like, it smells like coconuts. Like it literally smells like a tropical drink. Like I just want to eat it. Like, ah, nom, 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 nom. It smells so good. And it's just, oh. The formula is just so creamy. It doesn't, it feels super moisturizing on my lips. It doesn't feel drying at all. Like, I have no idea how they pulled this off, but Maybelline, you fucking rock my socks with this stuff. This is absolutely amazing. I think I found a new favorite liquid lip um, that's decently affordable. I think these were $12.99. And yeah, no, this color though is just, it's bomb. I absolutely love these. So Maybelline, you really hit it out of the park. I love this stuff. If you guys would like to see me swatch the rest of the shades, I can do a video swatching the other three shades as well. Um, and I will make that a totally separate video. If you guys want, leave your suggestions in the comments below. So there it is, you guys. There you have it. That was my full face. Wait a minute. Hold the phone. We're missing something, aren't we? I didn't set my face. Girl, how could I do that? Like, seriously, Max? 
you fucking retard. Like, wake up, girl. So, last but not least, before I finish this video, is the NYX Matte Finishing Spray. So this you can pick up for, I think it's $10.99, I've been buying it for years and years and years. You can get it at Shoppers Drug Mart now, or you can also find their entire line or the majority of their line at London Drugs as well. Uh, you can go and check them out. Uh, but let's get to setting this face, and then we will be finito. Ah. Uh. So refreshing. That is the best thing in the world, is that feeling of setting your face and just letting it all soak into the skin. It is amazing. This stuff works absolutely incredible. I go through a ton of this, like it's absolutely insane. Um, it even says on the back, it says a lightweight water-based setting spray that keeps your makeup looking matte and A-M-A-Z-I-N-G. They actually spell it out on the back. If you guys can see that, they spell out amazing and they are not lying. This has been my tried and true for years. So if you're looking for a good setting spray, this is the way to go. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the final look. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making this video for you. I can't wait to do another makeup tutorial. Um, maybe not a full face makeup tutorial because this took forever to film. Um, but I had so much fun filming it for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you guys did enjoy watching this video, please hit that subscribe button for me. It would mean the absolute world to me if you would. And if you are a returning subscriber, don't forget to also hit that like button. If you guys have any suggestions on videos that you would like to see me do in the future, please leave your comments in the comment uh, comment section below. It would be greatly appreciated. You can also find all of my social media, my Facebook, my Instagram, my uh, Snapchat, all in the description. Also, if you would like to book me for a makeover or if you have a wedding or anything like that, I do also own my own company called Makeup by Maxwell, and you can find the website and all of my booking info in the description below. But until I see you guys next time, peace, love, and hugs. Bye guys. Mwah.